Hello and welcome back to this series of uh, videos aimed at um, teachers and teaching assistants in primary schools and middle schools looking for ideas for DNT activities. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a animated Santa toy, I suppose you could call it a retro toy or a Victorian toy, where you pull a string and a mechanism operates Santa's arms and legs. Now uh, I've drawn this design using a uh, Corel Draw, a computer drawing program, and the free .pdf uh, uh, template is, is available from my website. Uh, there's my website address, by the way, along the top of the map there. Um, after you've downloaded it, print it out, and then photocopy it onto the thickest card that you can get through your photocopier. We're lucky here at Ivydale we have colour photocopiers. Um, but uh, that's not really thick enough, so I then uh, glued it onto another piece of card to thicken it up using spray mount. Uh, it has to be quite thick so that the limbs are heavy enough to fall by gravity. If any of that is a problem, uh, you can use thinner card and just stick um, paper clips onto the back of the limbs like that to give them enough weight to fall. So um, the next thing to do is to cut out the design. There are six pieces and uh, to save you watching me do that here's the six pieces already cut out. Good practice for scissor skills. Two legs, two arms, a head and a body. And the next thing to do is to punch out all the holes I think there's 12 of them, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Um, I've spoken before in these videos about hole punches. Uh, I'm lucky that I've got um, a whole variety of them. This is my favourite one. It's made by Maun Industries, M-A-U-N. Um, I've had this for well over 25 years. It's um, definitely a tool for life. But uh, it is possible to use um, a cheaper one. This one's only about £2.50. Um, it's available from most educational suppliers and uh, that can be used as well. This one, is uh, probably seen this before, you can use this. Um, the hole's a little bit big but it's just about, uh, just about small enough for these paper fasteners. So I'm going to use my, my favourite paper fastener to punch out these holes. I've, I've designed it so that the holes are close enough to the edge for the paper fastener to, for the paper, what am I talking about, hole punch to reach, I beg your pardon. Um, when doing the limbs, be, be very careful when you punch that hole out, that you don't go too close to the edge. Um, I probably would get the pupils to bring their limbs to me to be punched out. I haven't done this yet. With pupils. I hope to do it in the next few weeks and the run up to Christmas here at Ivydale Primary School. So that's all the holes punched out. Um, we're now going to link them together using uh, paper fasteners. Uh, these are the shorter 13mm paper fasteners. Um, these are the four holes that the paper fasteners go through from the front and then in the limbs they're going through the lower of the two holes. So that hole there and that hole there on the uh, arms. So push your paper faster through the hole, then it's the lower hole and then bend the legs over but bend the legs over so that there's a gap. So I've kind of flexed them so that the legs are not tight against the card so that the arm is free to move. Can you see that? So don't, as we normally do, push the paper fastener legs down tight. Um, if you can, get them so that there's um, a space. I don't know if you can see that. So there's plenty of room for the uh, arm to rotate. Again, we'll do the other arm. Paper fastener through. Lower hole. Bend the legs over. Make sure that one's free to rotate as well. There we are, that is. Then the legs. Lower hole. 
I've designed the paper fasteners here to look like that they're um, buttons on the on Santa's belt. The upper five paper fasteners are going to be hidden by Santa's beard. So it's the final paper fastener through here. Bend the legs over again. Make sure, if I just get the arms out of the way, can you see that Santa's legs are really free to move. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to glue Santa's head on to that tab and I like to glue it on so that his beard just covers up the two upper paper uh, paper fasteners. You could use um, stick glue or sellotape. Uh, I'm going to use a glue gun. Go. Okay, so there we are, that's um, Santa assembled. We've now got to um, connect up the limbs with some string. Now, um, this is the finished string that I've got at the moment. It's not really suitable because it, it, um, it frays, it unravels very easily. If you can, try and find some twine that's been um, heavily waxed. Um, I think I can just about manage with this. We need a short piece first of all to link the two arms together. So you can actually just bend that out a bit. Can you see that to help you to get the string through? And then through the other hole. Now this is by far the hardest part of the make will be difficult for pupils who are still learning how to tie knots in string. I'm not particularly good at it myself but as long as we get some kind of knot, I don't care if it's a granny knot or a reef knot or a slip knot, as long as it's some kind of knot that holds together. And when you're making that loop, I don't know if you can see, um, make sure that it's big enough to allow the arms to, to hang down so don't pull it too tight to force the arms out. So I think if I tie that knot off now, that should be about right. And this string is already fraying terribly. So learn from my mistake and try and find some better string than this. I've pulled that together a little bit too tightly, so I'm going to loosen it up a bit. So that that loop is long enough to allow the arms to fall. Can you see that? And if I just pull on that, it should operate the arms hope you're getting that. Okay, exactly the same with the legs. Another short piece of string through the, the hole at the top, across to the hole in the other leg and then join the two ends together with some kind of knot. And once again, when you're tightening this loop Make sure it's long enough to allow the legs to fall. I probably should have had a slightly longer piece of string, but if I'm careful, I think I can manage. I've got a horribly fraying end to the string. Hopefully I can just about persuade it. It's a little bit on the tight side. Let's pull it a little bit out. There we are. I think I've just about got away with that. Can you see that they are hanging down nicely? And if I pull on that, that should operate the legs as well. We're now going to link, link that loop to that loop with a long piece of string. Make sure it's long enough to allow you room to tie off there and there. And there's plenty uh, hanging down from underneath. So a knot in the top. I think first of all I'll just cut off these extra bits of string. There we go. and just loop it through. I'll just try and show you that. Can you see I'm just looping through the loop there and tie that off. I think if I pull it tight enough just one turn of a knot will probably be enough. Yeah that's fine and you can see that the arms are working quite nicely. And then down through the lower loop I quite like to pass the string through both sides of the loop. There we go. 
and tie that one off and once again I think just one turn of a knot is going to be enough. Can you see the way I'm pulling that through? Yeah. I think we can go a little bit tighter. There we are, and let's see if their legs are moving. Oh yes, I'm quite pleased with that, that's working. We've got a bit of an arthritic leg here, I think it's because the paper fastener is a bit too tight. Could also be the string that's coming. Kind of, that's not bad, that's pretty good. Can you see that action's working quite well? Okay. We'll just turn it around so that you can see how the string is pulling. It's um, a series of levers. Finally, and this is entirely optional extra, um, you could put a bead on the end to make it um, a bit easier to operate. Um, if you're looking for other Christmas ideas, there's another video in this series where I show how to make an LED uh, Christmas card. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoy making your animated um, Santa. Look out for the free uh, PDFs on my website. I'm going to do a version, I'm going to do the coloured version will be there. And I think I'll do a, an uncoloured version uh, if you want your pupils to uh, colour it in themselves. So um, thanks for watching and uh, a very Merry Christmas to all my viewers. Bye for now.